Hey y'all, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. And in today's video, I'm super excited to be diving into a bunch of new Give Me Glow Cosmetics products. I placed a rather big order on their website when they launched the Night Light palette. They also launched another palette that was more like yellow, red, and orange, but I chose this one because not only is it beautiful packaging, but also the inside looks like this. So obviously this palette absolutely just spoke to me and I was so just taken with the color story. I wanted to play around with it and I wanted to own this gorgeous packaging. So I picked it up. I picked up some of their brushes. I picked up their new glitter primer. What else did I, oh, and I picked up their new bronzers. So we're going to try it all out today in this video and yeah, just have fun playing with makeup and I'm going to give you guys a few looks. So if that sounds interesting to you, why don't we go ahead and just jump right into the first look, which is what I have on my eyes today. So, I'm not sure how this happened, but I totally forgot to turn on my microphone for the first few minutes of this get ready with me part, so I'm just going to do a quick little voiceover as we go along. I wanted to try out the bronzers first, and the two shades that I picked up were Don't Be Salty and Good Times and Tan Lines. And so for the first side here, I decided to try out Good Times and Tan Lines just to see because it, it looked a little bit more cool toned and uh, looked like it would be a bit of an easier bronzer if you guys are new around here. I love going ham on my face on a, with a bronzer. I tend to ignore blush altogether and just kind of warm up my face with bronzers and then after that side was done I use the other one the don't be salty on the other side just to compare the two and definitely one is a little bit more warmer the don't be salty one but honestly I feel like both are gonna go really well for my skin tone and I can definitely get away with both of them so I was really happy that they both worked for my skin tone they blended in beautifully this brush that I'm using is a duo fiber brush I'll link it in the description box but it's one of my favorite to use because it just gives a very effortless kind of airbrush blend to my bronzer and yeah overall just very pleased I like the packaging I think that palette that I bought was like four dollars and it fits two bronzers and I think it's just very pretty so it'll be a nice way to keep my bronzers in bronzers are huge it's gonna last forever overall really happy with uh, give me glows new bronzers Next up, I just prime my eyes with uh, Gimme Glow's white primer. I think they might be discontinuing this. I'm honestly not sure. But then I'm just diving right into that first color, which I'm using that nice bold blue and just, you know, blending it out. This blended out beautifully, as you can see. And then I'm going in with that second shade there and putting it right into my crease. And this shade also super pigmented, super beautiful. No issues with either one of these. And then because I wanted more depth in my outer corner, I'm going back on top of the dark blue with the dark green just to combine the two so that it's as deep as I can get it. And as you can see, definitely makes a little bit of a difference. So that's what I'm doing to catch the other side up. And then this is about where I pause the video. I have to go take care of the kids for a minute. And then when I come back, I realize that my microphone wasn't on. So I'm turning it on now. Voice over Katie is done. Okay, so for the next step, I definitely know I want to take, I guess we'll use this one. This is the G1012. Also great little tiny brush. I want to take this shade right here. I want to use that yellow because it's like a pop of yellow in this green blue palette. So definitely want to use it in my look. It's called Sunny. And we're going to put this right in the inner corner there. And we're just going to pop it right in here. So pretty. This is another shade I've had for years. It looked same color though as what uh, the new one she just sent. So that's why I figured I'll just use my old one. But uh, it's been a long time favorite of mine. Her, her formula is always so nice. I feel like the mattes blend really well. They're super pigmented. They're very um, powdery, so if you're someone who doesn't like it, like a lot of kick up in the pan and a lot of fallout on your face, something to keep in mind because they're definitely pretty powdery. I could probably have gone with a more less dense brush, but I wish I had another one of these clean that I used for the crease because that would have been perfect for hair, but this is fine. But anyway, um, yeah, a little powdery in the pan, but I just kind of as you're hearing, I'm sure tap it off. I always just smack it against my mirror before I put it up to my eyes. And that usually does well enough. All right, and like not adding any product to the brush, I'm just gonna take this right in here, kind of underneath the yellow a teeny bit. And then that'll poke out whenever I do put my shimmers on my crease, or on my crease, put my shimmers on my lid and bring it up into the crease. Okay, so this is where we are at. I think it's looking really nice. 
I can't decide what type of light shade I want to put on this outer <laughs> edge. One of these I know for sure. You know what? Maybe we should just do the blue because like I already owned and have used, what is this, Mojito? That, that's mine. So maybe we'll, we should dip into the more blue, which is Sky High. Let's do that. Ooh, I found another Gimme Glow. This is the G616. I could have used this to tap on or to use on the outer corner, but it'll also work really nice for blending out the outer edge here. Tapping off to make sure I don't get too much and just so much color and pigment per usual. Mm, so pretty. I love playing with Gimme Glow shadows. I have a lot of her singles and a good number of her palettes for sure. But at any time I get a chance to play with them, I just find them so very fun. I'm going back into that shade I put in my crease. Just working it in here. Making sure I didn't lose it with the blend because it goes kind of from blue to green to then blue. Maybe not the best choices for the color theory, Katie, but I'll, I'll make it work. We'll just take a little bit more time, but we'll make sure everything kind of stands out. There you go. I think you can still see all the three different colors pretty well. I get so excited to play with colors. I'm just like, put it all over. And then I actually start doing it. I'm like, oh, was that a good choice to actually put those two together, Katie, or put those all together like that? That's where it's questionable. I love how her shadows are so easy to work with that you can just like, if you feel like you're losing it at all, you can just tap into the color more and press it on and it stands out. Like I never have that issue with you know, patching or if I add to, I mean, I suppose you could, but <laughs> with all the work I've ever done with Gimme Glow, I've never come across that issue where it's like, oh, you just played around with it too much and now nothing's wanting to stick or it's, you know, too many colors on top of each other. Now it's starting to bald up and patch up. It's always just so easy and effortless to get any type of look that I want. And I love that in an eyeshadow, in a matte eyeshadow, I should say, just if I can get an effortless, seamless blend and make sure there's just a little hint of each color popping out through the blend just so it doesn't kind of get lost. All right, I think that looks really good. I am happy with that. I'm gonna go back into that yellow sunny and put it back in here and just very, like with just the tip of the brush because this is a pretty detailed brush but I'm just gonna kind of blend up, blend out the edges here and blend it in there, and I think it'll all come together once I put the shimmers on. So before the shimmers, I picked up this from Gimme Glow as well. This is Slow Harder from Gimme Glow. It's a gel primer for glitter, loose, and pressed shimmers. So it looks like it kind of has the texture of the NYX glitter primer, if you're familiar with that, except not as thick. So I think I'm gonna just, I think I'll do that. I'm just gonna put on my finger and then tap it on, because that's what I do with the NYX primer. I don't wanna really use the applicator on here because then I might get all the color dirty back into this bottle. This is my first time using it, so I'm really curious. I'm always looking for a good glitter primer. It's a little bit like of a smoother formula, a little bit um, not as thick as the NYX primer, but it's kind of feeling just as sticky. Like as I'm tapping it, it's kind of pulling on my eye, or not. That's dramatic. I like don't think it's like tugging on my eye, but it definitely sticks to my finger a little bit, which is good because that makes it promising. So while that kind of gives it a second to set, we're going to go and we're going to use both these shimmers. I'm going to use this over the majority of it, and then we're going to put this kind of between the two colors because this shimmer is kind of definitely what we have going on the outer corner, but like a shimmer, a shimmer formula of it. So the first one is Ocean Waters, and then this darker one is called Mermaid Waters. So can't wait to use those as my children shout in the background. I'm gonna take this one. This is the G125. I really do like this brush for uh, packing on matte shadows on the lid. I tend to, I don't think I've used it for shimmers, so let's see how it works for shimmers. All right, and now we're just gonna place this and get a nice smooth line right here. It looks like color wise, it might not have a lot of color to this shade. It's more like super shimmery, but maybe we can build it up because I feel like I'm seeing that yellow through it pretty easily but I'm gonna try to tap it on so it doesn't mix too much and just work to see how much I can build this shade up. Definitely sparkly. I might try a different brush on the other side. Like I said, I've used this, this brush a ton for matte shadows all over my lid and I love it for that, but it could be not the best for shimmers, so. That looks really pretty. Oh, 
Okay, this is looking very pretty. It definitely, like I said, I think it's more of a, not translucent in color, but more not super pigmented throughout the formula when it comes to the color. So I'm not getting like a super sharp line like I tend to get, but I am gonna try a different brush just to make sure it's not my brush doing that. So let me grab a brush I know and love for applying shimmers to my eyes or to my eyelid. Like this one, this is the Colored Rain Shadow Brush. So let's pick it up on this side and see if it makes a difference. It's a bit of a looser formula in the pan as well as I'm picking it up. I'm definitely kind of making a, I could easily make a mess. So I'm trying to do more pressing down to get it to adhere to my brush so then I can apply it to my lid without a ton of fallout. But yeah, as I'm applying it, it's a little bit easier with the brush, the, this brush, but not honestly not that much different than the other one. So I think it's just more of a translucent type of um, iridescent, maybe is a better word to say instead of translucent, but more of a iridescent type of see-through color as opposed to something with a lot of pigment to it. And that's why I'm not getting like a super harsh cut crease line up here still pretty and i'm able to cover the yellow and if i wanted it to be super precise i could have cut my crease with you know concealer beforehand i'm going to go ahead and clean off that first brush from gimme glow that i use the g125 and we're going to go into that darker shade which is mermaid waters this one looks like it should have a very pigmented base very smooth to pick up very slick in the pan not super loose and crumb crumbly which i like and let's slide this on. Maybe I should have used like my usual glitter glue on one side and then the new one on the other side because I didn't think about that being a factor. Could be a factor with how these shimmers are applying with the new glitter primer. Oh well, did not think about that before this. Feel like it's not going on as smooth as I like it to. I feel like, let me get a sponge tip applicator, which is equivalent, in my in my opinion, to using my finger, and I'm gonna see if I get more pigment. But I feel like it's not so much the eyeshadow's fault. It's almost the, maybe it's the glitter primer. I'm gonna have to play around with that glitter primer some more. Yeah, look at that. Oof, so pretty. Going on a lot easier and quicker. I probably should have read and seen, like maybe you had to wait a little bit. Is there instructions with this thing? I forget. Not on here, I'll have to look on the website because I definitely didn't give it a long time. Like I didn't let it like dry completely. And maybe this glitter primer, you're supposed to let it dry before starting, but I feel like it's just, it wasn't, wasn't wanting to stick how I know Gimme Glow shadows typically, or shimmers typically stick. But uh, that sponge tip applicator definitely did the trick. Oof, so pretty. I feel like I'm being super nitpicky with these shimmers, but bottom line is they're very, very pretty. I need to play with that, around with that primer some more and compare it to my NYX glitter primer, which is my all-time favorite and the MBA one. So anyway, I'm just gonna dip into the blue, the bright blue from the first, like the first shade I used. I'm gonna tap this on the edge. That darker shade on the outside corner is so pretty. Oof, very nice. I got definitely have some fallout from the shimmer, the darker shimmer, I think but the shimmers in general. Let's hope it sweeps away. So I'm gonna grab a little powder brush that I use for my under eyes. Okay, yeah, it worked pretty well. There's a little bit hanging on here. I have not removed my facial hair in a while, so I feel like that blue is grabbing onto the little peach fuzz I have right there. Not enough to be distracting, not enough to bother me, honestly, so it's fine, whatever. So for my under eyes, I want to use, let's go with, we're gonna use this shade. And then I'll probably use, we'll, we'll use this, just to use something different to blend it out. I think I'm gonna use this shade for my, kind of the deepest shade uh, against my uh, lower lash line. And then we'll use Door Girl to blend it out and soften it out because we haven't used that shade yet. And it's a little bit more purpley leaning, so I think that'll be interesting. I'm just gonna use the G327 brush that I used a different color on, but we'll just put it right on top. It should be fine. And then we're just gonna go right along here tapping it off to make sure I don't make a mess all over my face but there we go just like that all right and since I like that brush so much for my under eyes it's just like a great size I'm gonna clean it off well enough and we're gonna go into that what I say door girl door girl I don't know what that means we're gonna go into door girl I'm gonna blend it mostly up here but then we'll take it all the way back Almost looks like the same color, <laughs> except just a little bit lighter, not as dark as the, or intense as the dark blue we used. So, not as 
impactful or like different for blending it out as I was wanting. So I'm gonna go into, where is that brush? This brush that I used that lightest blue on, which is Sky High. I used it up here. We're gonna use that just all around here. Let me do this side first, because I definitely didn't do my shape on this side as well, so I'm gonna have to fix that off camera. But we're just gonna do this. Oh, so pretty. All right, I feel like this is pretty much the look we got. Um, and I don't think there was anything new that I wanted to use. So I think I'm gonna close out this part of the video here and just finish out my look and then I'll show you guys the close-ups. Oh, the shimmers are so pretty. So beautiful, there's so much sparkle as I turn my head and I like the pop of yellow in my uh, inner corner there. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix this. Uh, let's see, what lipstick do I wanna? wear with this. I have this liquid lipstick in Pumpkin, Dirty Pumpkin from uh, Give Me Glow, which I love, but I don't think that's gonna really go with the look that I have going on. So I'll probably do this muted, cause it's like cool tone muted color. I feel like that'll look nice. Or you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I know I feel like I've been really boring with this shade, but I'm gonna use Stone from uh, Maybelline's Lip, The Lifter Gloss in Stone. I love this shade so much. It just goes with everything. And I'm honestly almost out of this. I need to repurchase it, there we go. Because I can literally see the bottom. And it's not grabbing much when it goes in there. But anyway, I'm just gonna do this, finish out the look. Oh, I didn't do an inner corner, and I didn't do a highlight. Let me grab a highlight from Give Me Glow, and we can use that for the inner corner and my face. Okay, they have this shade as both a, um, I, I think as both an eyeshadow, honestly, I don't remember. Okay, they have this shade that they sell as a highlight called Halo. I have a couple other shades, but I love Halo. It's a single shadow I have in my single shadow drawer, but let's use it for face and inner corner highlights, just so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Oof. Super sparkly, super shifty, and super intense. Like a little bit goes Woo, a long way, a little too much there. Okay, let's soften up. It's like a golden, but it has a, maybe it's a gray cast. It's very yellow when you catch it. Definitely is beautiful for the inner corner. This is electric unicorn. Maybe I should use that on top. Oh, we're just gonna do it. It's also from Gimme Glow. Just to lighten it up maybe. All right, I'm gonna go in with just Halo for my inner corner for my eyes, cause that'll definitely, woof, I think go really well. Okay, whoo, that's gonna, that'll, that'll look really nice with this look. Definitely blinding in our corner highlight I got going on. Okay, so this is the look. Let me finish it out and then we can wrap up with my final thoughts at the end.
Okay, so those are all the looks that I managed to do with this palette and first impressions on this palette is I am very pleased. Definitely the shimmers, I feel like I'm gonna have to play around with it more with different primers and whatnot just to get a good feel for it. But for, I mean, just visually speaking wise, it is absolutely beautiful. They are so beautiful and like shimmery and sparkly on the eyes. I, if you are new around here, I'm a big fan of Give Me Go when it comes to their shimmers and matte formula. They always just do a fantastic job giving you such pigmented color but still blendable and still like sparkly and beautiful. I really like this look that I put together and I'm sure I'm gonna like the other looks that I put, do with them. So yeah, overall first impressions, I wasn't expecting not to like this palette but getting to play with this color story, I'm super, super pleased. But yeah, I just really wanted to play with this collection and put a video out on my channel before the baby came, so I figured I could do this type of video and just get to play with it and give you guys my first impressions. I don't plan to have an in-depth review for a little while just because I'm probably not gonna be able to come back to this until after the baby comes, and so who knows when I'll be able to do my next Palpalooza, but I hope you guys don't mind. I will eventually, of course, give you guys a full in-depth review on this palette, show you guys all the looks that I did in a Palpalooza. It just might not be till like September or October or who knows at this point, but I just want to let you guys know that it's going to take me a little bit more time, but hopefully this video just giving you guys first impressions and then also just inspiration with the looks I was able to do, give you guys something to go off of and give you some information on the brand. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Give Me Glow. I've got a lot of Give Me Glow videos already on my channel, so if you want to watch those, I'll leave the playlist up here if you want to check those out and just kind of get a feel for the brand from their past launches that I've tried. But yeah, that is going to do it for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful and just had some fun playing with your makeup up with me and hopefully my kids weren't too loud and hopefully I didn't have any audio issues in the beginning which I kind of feel like I might but cross our fingers we're gonna hope I didn't but yeah that is gonna do it for me for this video as always thank you so very much for watching I really do appreciate it if you want to continue getting daily content from me I'm over on Instagram I'm Lady Katie 92 over there it probably won't be daily content once the baby comes but I'll post there as frequently as I can and I post up close eye pictures tutorial reels fun type of reels all that sort of thing uh, arm swatches when I can of uh, new palettes and that type of thing so I just try to have fun over on my Instagram page Lady Katie 92 if you want to join in on the fun and if you want to see cute baby pictures after after baby gets here, I share them on my story. So that's where you can go to find those. But anyway, with that said, thank you guys once again so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.